on him, kind of in that sweet spot of his back. So go ahead and walk all the way up. All right, see how I'm pitched on him real nice? That's where I want you guys to be able to be good at. Go ahead and I want you guys to be able to be on that sweet spot, pitch, okay? Now, when I go claw, it's not just dip and put my hand on the shoulder like this. That's not a claw. What a claw is, is I'm gonna look at my palm, I'm gonna close my palm on the back of his neck, and then I'm gonna make him check himself for deodorant. I make him smell himself, you will see what I mean? Look at my palm, close my palm on the back of his neck, and then he what? Checks himself for deodorant, ready? Smell himself, okay? That's a good claw, right? That's tough. That's what I want you guys to do. Now, when you're drilling right now, you don't gotta sit you that tight, but in a match, make sure he's checking himself for deodorant. Very important. Now, uh, you guys know a wrist tilt when you roll across your back and roll through? It's kinda like the most basic tilt in wrestling. So we're gonna do that, but with a claw. We're gonna roll across our back. When I roll across my back, the most important part is swiveling his hips. So I'm in a pocket, I'm gonna swivel my hips so he rotates to the other side. You know what I mean? Claw, I roll, and once we get to TV position right here, pause. I need to take his right shoulder and put it on the mat on this side. What I don't want to do is be spooning like this when I rotate. I need to tee up a little bit. So I rotate like that. That makes sense? It's hard to do slow motion, but it looks like this. I rotate this way. His foot, his leg is past this side. That's important, right? Now face. Yeah, I got this move, like, sound arrogant, but I got it on everybody in college. Like, really good guys. I, this is the reason I beat a kid named Georgie DiCamillo, who was an NCAA finalist. I beat him with this move, right? And two, two count, that's all I got, it was two points. But it was because of this move, so I jam, claw, roll, chain size. Everybody understand how to change size like that? What's the stopper from him belly out? Anybody know? My knee, good job. All right, so come over here a little more. Just so I have more control. The stopper is my right knee. Watch how, where's my right hand supposed to be? So left hand's on the claw, where's my right hand supposed to be? Thigh pride. And I use that thigh pride to push his leg past mine. Watch what I mean. All right, it's roll. I'm here, right? Stay right where you're at. I'm gonna take this thigh when I bring him over here, and I'm gonna push it right here, past this knee. So as I go, I push it past this knee. See how my knee's up? If my knee was down, what could you do? Could you belly out on this. So that's very important, all right? That swivel is everything. Now I'm gonna explain how I picture it. This is really weird how I picture it, but uh, it makes sense, all right? So just expect it to be weird. Imagine there's a pole, <laughs> this is so weird, right? But there's a pole that goes from like his belly button through his back and then through my belly button, right? So like we're all in line. That part, obviously, if we're connected, can't move. My belly on his back right here can't move. But which part can rotate? This part. So, so, so imagine he's spinning, right? We're spinning right here. Oh, this is the center point. That's the rotation point. This part moves. Watch. My belly doesn't leave that part of his back, right? I get here. The, the only thing that really rotates is the top half. And see how we're teed up? Right? We're a little bit more perpendicular. That's where I want to start with. Any questions? All right, this is pretty tough, so it's okay to go slow. All right, one, two.